Today, we're gonna be trying to go for every single Fitzer upgrade within our strategy, and we have the most expensive tower in the game, the Super Monkey, so this is gonna be pretty difficult, but I think we can do it. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. And this guy's gonna be starting off with the Ice, all right? I'm sure most of you already do know this, but Ice is absolutely good on this map. So during these earlier game rounds, hopefully he should be good because I already know for a fact Ocean Obit is his hero, and for today's video, we absolutely need to go past round 40, okay? So we need to make sure that Boomerang over here maintains the perfect life count, okay? 150 lives, but also at the same time, I'm going to be sending him consistent space seco, so hopefully he can just handle that, okay? But let's go for Benjamin all the way up in this corner, by the way, because that's where he belongs. Of course, I'm joking. I love Benjamin, and we're rocking with normal Benjamin just because he will make us a little bit more money. And also, too, I know for a fact with normal Benjamin, we can regen our lives with him, okay? Which is just super, super nice. So hopefully he can defend against all these space yellows here. It looks like it's going to hit its pierce cap, that ice. So he's going to have to do something else. And currently, as of right now, he is not space ecoing. He's not egoing nothing nice. towards us. So... That's a little bit nerve-wracking, okay? Maybe, you know what? I'm going to continue on sending him space yellows here. I want to send the space pinks, but also at the same time, like, I seriously don't want this guy to leak. So, we'll just continue on sending these. Let's go for the greater production on that. Awesome. And still, he's not sending me anything, boys. So, we're just chilling with a 000 dartling gunner still. He's going to have to do something, though. Like, he needs a way of making money because... I need this guy to be able to defend against AI all the way up until at least, like, round 40-something, you know? All right, finally, he's back at it. Oh, with greens, even. Okay, okay. So, let's go at least go for the faster barrel spin because that's not too many greens. And if we leak down, again, it's okay because we've got Benjamin to regenerate lives, so we should be chilling. Oh, look at his sniper, too. It's going in. So, I think it's safe to say we should be fine with setting space pinks here. Okay, even more greens. Yikes. I, I think we're good. We can just use the Ben ability, actually, right here just a shred there is a two second cooldown though so we have to watch out yeah look at that okay yeah let's just go for the powerful darts because i know for a fact the powerful darts should be chilling and he might actually also send us here um on round seven some yells so we've got to watch out for that so no yellow so far so i think we're in the clear yeah he's only sending space pinks yeah so that means i'm gonna go for an early marketplace okay so i, I think we should be able to get it hopefully before round 10 but also at the same time, we have to watch out on round 10 for space slides because a lot of people tend to send those. He went for another ice, by the way. Of course, I have no intentions of rushing this guy because we need to go past round 40 once again for today's video. And also, I have yet to explain this, but with yesterday's video, we're doing the same exact thing, okay? The same exact challenge. But with yesterday's video too, I went for the Legend of the Night and the Black Hole ability just did not spawn for me. So... That was a big rip, of course. And of course, I read the comments after, and a lot of people were talking about how there is an initial cooldown on Legend of the Night. And you guys are, in fact, right. There is an initial cooldown. Let's go for another marketplace, by the way, because he did not send us any space sleds. Literally have no lead detection. So, of course, this is kind of risky, but I think we should hopefully be able to get away with this. I went for a banana plantation, too, on top of this. Like, we are greeting out of our freaking minds right now. Okay, so I, let's at least go for the faster barrel spin. Let's have that ready. And once we have like around $4,000, we could sell this right here. Oh, wait. Okay. I thought he was about to send me constant yellows. Oh, yeah. He's going to send us constant yellows. With this current setup, we should be fine against constant yellows. But I was about to say, too, we could sell this always uh, to go for the Hydro Rocket Pods. Okay. So if he wants to send us like a brush, we are ready for that. But also, too, once we hit around $8,000, we should be able to sell one of these marketplaces to go for a central market. So about now. So let's just do that. Oh my god, our farms are looking immaculate right now, okay? But as I was saying earlier as well, the Legend of Night has an initial cooldown. Oh, wait! Okay, yeah, let's sell this. Go for the Hydro Rocket Pods because, again, literally had no lead detection, so we kind of needed that, you know? But again, the Legend of Night has an initial cooldown of 40 seconds. It said that on the Balloons Wiki, so I ended up going for the Legend of Night, and I thought I was freaking doing a big brain play when in reality, there was no black hole because of the initial cooldown, so I ultimately ended up dying, and I was trying to go for every single fits your upgrade within my strategy, and of course, we do have the most expensive tower within our strategy, the Super Monkey, so... It's hard to get a single fit tier upgrade, let alone every other fit tier on it. And on top of that, the fit tiers on the Dartling Gunner and our farms, okay? So, it's not a walk in the park, okay? But it also is possible at the same time. So, I think we're actually looking pretty solid so far, too, because our farm game's looking good. This guy's not being, like, really aggressive towards us. As long as he can defend AI, that's all I need this guy to do, okay? 
that's it so let's go for the brf here on round 17 that is a very early brf most of the time i get the brf like mid round 18 so yeah we're looking really really good so far and we should hopefully be able to sell this brf here to go for a monkey wall street on round 20 and i kind of needed this map by the way because mine is a map that has so much space to fill up with just so many different farms you know what i mean so we can easily go for every single fifth tier farm while also having so many brfs across the entire map it's gonna be awesome his last tire by the way is the super monkey okay so super like he, he should be fine with having super monkey he can go for an isoclone pale super brittle he, he should be chilling okay and by the way stop decoying here okay so we gotta play this safe here boys we gotta go for the knockback on this so let's just do that right here right now benjamin also did hack that down for us so with this setup we should hopefully defend because there's no children balloon all right yeah yeah, yeah. okay Woo! I was going to say, there was not going to be any children balloons uh, within that mod because Benjamin did hack it. And yeah, we ended up ultimately defending that. Let's freaking go. Wait, can we go for around 19 uh, Monkey Wall Street here? Possibly. If we sell this for additional 4K, yeah, we could. We actually could. And I'm 100% going to be doing that. Okay, so there are going to be some AI ceramics. Yep, here are those. Okay, so let's go for the Wall Street. We're going to get $10,000 at the start of the round, boys. That's a really, really big deal, if you do ask me. Let's try to go for a BRF2 as early as we can. Okay, we couldn't go for that. That is fine. And just to be safe again, we should probably just go for a knockback super monkey. So let's have that on the map. Again, Benjamin hacked down for us. Benjamin's just awesome, boys. So that was easy claps. Let's freaking go. Okay, we are looking fantastic so far and also too we already have a one fits your farm he stopped decoing again okay maybe he's trying to go for a sniper farm or he's been his defenses yeah he's back to send the constant pink so i think we're in good standings okay so what i'm gonna do too here by the way is go for three brfs and then i'm gonna sell two once i have around thirty thousand dollars to go for banana central for whatever reason too he's rushing us here so just with constant leads we should be okay against this i believe now, if some balloons do happen to get through, it's actually not even that big of a deal. Um, I might go for a Dark Knight. I'm gonna go for a Dark Knight here. Yeah, I think this is the safest play because fortified ceramics within the AI, we do not want to mess around with those. Ooh, we actually might leak. Are we good? Are we good? Okay, we're good. See? That's no joke. Why is he ecoing with leads? Is the ultimate question. I don't know why he's doing that. It's kind of bothering me though because like, I don't know. It's a little bit harder to defend against, but... Uh, we're still at no lives lost even if we would have leaked down it would have been fine because again we have benjamin but i don't know we gotta keep our guard up boys and also too i wasn't paying attention i went for four brfs instead of three because i normally do three and then sell two to go for the band central but that is okay once we have 30k we'll still sell two of those to go for the uh, banana central so there we go for the banana central on round 25 not too shabby and we also already have a dark knight ready for round 2060 ets in case he wants to send us those okay so uh, we should be good. Hopefully, he just doesn't send those because I just don't want to have to put money into my defense, you know? I'm trying to put every dollar I get back into my farms because the quicker that we do that and fill up the entire map, the more money we will overall make, okay? So, let's go for another BRF there. Perfect. I'm not going to go for the middle path, monkey nomics until I have literally almost the entire map filled up because that fifth tier farm, it's not, like, worth it as of right now because it's very, very expensive, so... I'd rather first fill out the map with these BRFs. Oh, no. He's equal with purples, guys. Bro, why is he doing that? Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Oh, my God. I thought he was about to constantly equal with purples. That would have been a little bit of an issue. But thankfully, he's not doing that. So much appreciated. But, oh, my God. I'm going to upgrade this Dark Knight a little bit. Because look at these AI mobs and stuff. Yeah, this is no joke. This is no joke, boys. Are we good? Okay, we're good jesus man we're out here struggling because we're just trying to greed so unbelievably hard but i think we are good for now no is he going with purples again no please don't do this i'm gonna have to go for another hydra yep go for another hydra because this is scary all right okay with two hydras we should be fine against purples i don't know he keeps on like inconsistently sending them and it's kind of scaring me you know so i guess i'd rather be safe than sorry man oh my god i went for the wrong farm Bro, I, I misclicked. Okay, whatever. Whatever, it's fine. I guess this random farm down here will just be our monkeynomics because, yeah, again, I just randomly upgraded, accidentally upgraded to that. Um, but here on round 30, we're going to get so much money. So that's why I wanted to have as many BRFs on the map. See, look at that. 
Look at that, boys. And of course, that round 30 BFB was easy, easy class for us. I think if I would have properly placed these... Oh, yeah, we can get another farm there. Let's freaking go, boys. Every single spot matters. Let's use that ability. Every time we use that monkey nomics ability, it gives us $20,000. So that, of course, is super, super nice. And hmm, I think we can set down one more farm in like this middle spot. Yeah. Every farm spot counts, right? Oh my god, more purples, dude. Whenever he sends purples, I just get like really nervous because I know those could definitely be an issue for us. But let's sell this one down here because I think we can have one more farm spot. And again, every farm spot counts. So there we go. I might go for another uh, Dark Knight very, very quickly. Okay, I cross path it wrong. Bro, see, whenever I try to use hotkeys, I always mess up, man. I always mess up. Please pop that down for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now that we have all the T5s, for the farms, I'm going for an MAD, okay? I'm not messing around here. MAD is going to be able to absolutely shred for us. So there we finally go. Now I'm feeling a lot better with our defenses, okay? Because now I'm going to go for a Ray of Doom all the way up here. So there we go with that. Already have enough money for this, by the way. So that's pretty cool. Got that on the map. Let's use this ability too. Awesome. And can we fit another Dartling Gunner up here? We cannot. Okay, so right here then, I guess. This will be our BEZ, okay? And let's target this to independent. And now we have all the T5s for the Darling Gunner and also the farm. So things are looking pretty good if you do ask me. Now what I think we need to do is prioritize going for the True Sun God here first, okay? And the True Sun God, it's going to sacrifice quite a bit, unfortunately. Um, and I'm not going to go for max sacrifices because that's going to require just even more money for us. And I simply just don't want to have to worry about that, okay? So, actually, you know, would this be worth it to go for right now? Uh, I guess so. Like, I don't know where, like, I want my Legend of the Night. It's like, I wanted my Legend of the Night and the Anti-Balloon to be, like, in pretty decent positions. But, of course, I can't have them near this Sun Temple or else they'll be sacrificed. So, that's kind of why I wanted to go for the True Sun God here first. And, like I said, we're not going for max sacrifices because... We need $50,000 worth of sacrifices from each category. So that's $150,000 plus $150,000 because we have to do it twice. So an additional $300,000. No, I'm not risking it for the biscuit. This guy could rush us at any point in time. I'm just going for all these T5s. And we actually will have decent sacrifices here uh, just based off these nearby towers. So let's just go for this right now. Oh my god. Look at how much that sacrifice. See? I knew that was going to be a lot, but I didn't expect it to be that much at the same time. Holy, but since we've got that uh, temple near these farms, they're actually a little bit cheaper, which is super, super nice. So let's just get these back on the map here. All right, so we got the farms back on the map. We can't put one right here because the temple, of course, is in the way. But it's round 37. He still has the perfect 150 life count. So this game should be going past round 40 as long as he does not end up rushing us. I think he's equaling constantly too with purples, but with all the defenses and whatnot that we have on the map, we are just freaking vibing as of right now. All right, so we have enough money to go for the True Sun guy right now. But because we know that's going to sacrifice a lot of our farms, I'm going to wait until we have a little bit more stacked up just so, like, when we go for the True Sun God, we can instantly rebuy all those farms back, okay? Um, and he has not shown really any signs of aggression, so we should hopefully be good in that aspect. He's just upgrading his defenses and constantly ecoing here with purple. So if he has the entire map filled up with Dark Knights, he might be able to defend. I'm honestly not too sure, okay? So I'm a little bit nervous because, like, I'm still trying to win this game, too. Like, after we get all the tier fives, I, I still want to win, you know? So maybe we could just take it all the way to round 50 just to see what happens because, I mean, we're already past round 40 or almost past round 40. Round 40 is here. Look at how much money we just produced right there. Let's go. Let's just go for the true sun. Actually, should we go for max sacrifices now? Because he's not showing any signs of aggression, you know? We could. We easily could, boys. You know what? Screw it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Let's use that ability. And I remember to collect uh, from this farm here too, okay? I, I almost forgot about that. I tend to forget about that because I just, like, never use that. But, yeah, we're going to go for 50k worth of sacrifices, I guess. Then let's just go for a Dark Champion because that should definitely, definitely be enough. And we're going to go for some Plasma Accelerators, I guess, around this because I don't really know what else to go for. So there you have it. I think we have $50,000 worth of every um, category. So let's do that. Awesome. So we didn't go for the 50k worth of sacrifices before. But nonetheless, it still should be a pretty powerful true sun god. Although at the same time, the fit tiers on the super monkey are pretty underwhelming in BTD Battles 2. 
But, yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty confident, boys. The Legend of the Night 2 still works, I think, in Sudden Death. So that will be super nice for us. And he just sold a lot of his sniper farms, okay? So he might rush us here. He might not. I'm not too sure. So we're going to have to watch out. If he does end up rushing us, we're going to have to go for the Legend of the Night and stuff. So I think I should prioritize going for the Legend of the Night. Because that Black Hole ability, that is very, very OP, okay? And now we can have the Legend of the Night and stuff in pretty OP positions. Oh, my God. Look at the range it's going to have, too gonna be freaking cracked boys okay so maybe we'll have yeah we'll have the legend of night more up here i don't think the positioning of it really matters okay i cross path it wrong so let's go for the legend of night right here right now oh my god it's so much cheaper but got that on the map i think the positioning of it doesn't really matter all that much but nonetheless we have it on the map so after 40 seconds we should have that black ability ready to go and then the anti-balloon uh i guess you know since we're gonna go middle path we could just have the anti-balloon like literally kind of more in the center of the map because the range on it's going to be absolutely insane so dude let me collect all these crates first before they all expire i was just trying to get a decent spot on this thing and there we go for the anti-balloon um i can't necessarily see the range. oh yeah look at that the range is just freaking insane on this thing so we have every single fifth tier upgrade within our strategy with having the most expensive tower within our strategy too so I'm obviously very, very happy with this, and we're absolutely shredding as of right now. We could better our defenses, or we could just see how all the T5s do. Let's just do that, boys. We're just going to see how all the T5s do. It's already round 47, so we're going to go all the way to round 50. He did say good luck, too. So we, we've got to watch out here, I guess, okay? Because <laughs> he might be rushing us here, but look at his side, too. He's got almost the entire map filled up with Dark Knights. Now, Dark Knights, Dark Knights Bayman's good. Don't get me wrong. But for round 50, I don't know how good it's going to be for him. Oh, he's rushing us. Okay, so let's, like, reposition this a little bit. Oh, an unfortified BAD? Bro, this is, like, it should be easy claps, right? I would have to say. Um, I'm not too sure, but it looks like we're doing pretty well so far, I think. Um, I don't know. I want to wait to use this anti-balloon ability here, too. Okay, so it's going to be the six hockey. Let's do that. Perfect um come on come on pop that down come on pop that down i'm gonna use this ability just to be safe okay oh wow we shredded the insides i was nervous about like everything underneath but we absolutely shredded that <laughs> oh my god dude that two second cooldown holy that affected our true sun god even that is actually funny oh my okay so only one right there I don't know, maybe if he sends me, like, a crap ton, I'm just gonna have to counter and see what happens, okay? Because, I don't know, even an unfortified BED right there, that was pretty hard. And I mean, look at this, round 49 AI, this is the equivalent to round 98 in BTD6, so... It, of course, is extremely hard, even with having all these T5s, so... Pretty crazy, but we should hopefully both be able to defend. I mean, he's got a lot of the map again filled up. Um, I think he's filling up even more of the map, too. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, bro. Oh, no, he's good. Okay, he just used the Tech Terror abilities, and that just shredded for him. Let's use this ability. Holy crap. And we're just going to all out him here, okay? Just all out here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's tower boost this. Or balloon boost, I'm sorry. Let's tower boost on our side just to ensure that we can defend too. And we still have so much more money to send him. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's dead. He, he's dead, okay? Enough said. He's dead. There is literally nothing that he can do he's probably just gonna try to all out me i guess with ddt's yep let's use oh dude look at that we're shredding we're literally shredding oh my god okay just defend the insides though please 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 okay we're good oh yeah we could even sell more of our farms if we wanted to but yeah it didn't even matter at that point and that is a fact gonna be a gg drop a like for this because seriously this took so long boy so i'd very much appreciate that and also too if you're new to the channel make sure to click that subscribe button and if you haven't already make sure to check out this video where we use this legend of the night that will confuse you and in order to understand it you're gonna have to watch the video so go make sure to check it out